So today we're gonna to be discussing some of the costs of living in Lubbock, Texas. So compared to some other cities in Texas, Lubbock is actually one of the cheaper cities to live in. In fact, it is about 20% cheaper to live in Lubbock than it is to live in anywhere in Texas, any other city in Texas. And it's about 40% cheaper on average um, to live in Lubbock than it, in the rest of the nation, which is pretty crazy. So what that means for you is you can be saving some dough if you move to Lubbock, right, Jaden? That's right. Yeah, so that's good for you. Okay, so doing a little re Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that no words came out. That was another language. Okay, so we got these stats from the National Cost of Living Index. This takes into account certain things as housing, transportation, groceries, factors all that in and then ranks it throughout Texas of what's the most expensive, your DFWs, your Austins, and then Lubbock, of course, comparative, comparatively on that is gonna be a lot cheaper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's not a talk show, dude. So obviously, I mean, why you're probably here is we've got to discuss housing. So housing is one of the, the key factors that's included in the index that Jaden was talking about. And it's actually 40% cheaper to live in Lubbock to buy a house here than it is across the nation. So 40% cheaper to live in Lubbock than it is across the entire United States, which is pretty crazy. I mean, crazy. So yeah. you see a lot of the examples of a million dollars buys you this in California. Usually what we're pulling is you'll find some really, really great properties here in West Texas that are pennies on the dollar compared to higher markets such as the Austin market in Texas, or if you're getting really crazy going to California, New York, things of that nature. The bigger cities, of course, um, have the Metroplex with it, but being in West Texas a little bit more secluded, we're able to control costs on housing a little bit more. Right, and one of the things, you know, if we're talking about housing, one of the first things we gotta talk about is taxes. So everyone hates them, but you gotta pay them. So Texas does not have, if you're not from Texas, Texas doesn't have a state income tax, but there's a property tax and a sales tax. And the sales tax is around 8.25% on the cost of every good, and the property taxes in Lubbock around 2.25 to 2.6 percent, depending on where you live. Yeah, so depending on which school district you're in, so we have Lubbock ISD, Lubbock Cooper, and then Friendship ISD, you're going to range from two and a quarter to the more expensive being Friendship at 2.76 percent on um, property taxes. Mm -hmm. So looking at Lubbock, our median sales price is at 150. If you look at the average in Texas, it's going to be 195. So you'll start to see examples of the cost of living being lower in examples such as that. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. I mean, $45,000 difference in a house is pretty nuts. Okay, so the biggest factor for me living in Lubbock, of course, is transportation. Mm -hmm. I hate traffic when you get to Dallas, Austin, Metroplexes. Mm -hmm. It's traffic all day. People are living two hours early to get to work which of course, if you're taking two hours to get to work, you're burning more fuel. Depending where prices are, this is gonna be a big factor. Just about in Lubbock, if you can get from one side to the other, 20 to 30 minutes. So yeah. when we see people move from different states, you know, metroplexes, they're always shocked by how, how light our traffic is here and how quick they can get from home to work or work to home and not spend that wasted time in the car. Yeah, it's like you can just zip around town here. 15 minutes anywhere, really. It is freaking amazing. That's probably one of the key factors in moving here is you gotta think about, it's gonna take me 10 minutes to get to work every day and there's no rush hour traffic. You can just hop on the loop, hop on one of the main roads, get home, get, get cooking, eating, you know. Quality of life. Quality of life improvement. So obviously we're discussing you know housing here. So and we already kind of had talked about the the average home price being 150,000. So because Jaden's the numbers guy and he's a lot smarter than I am, he's going to break down some of the costs incurred in buying a 150,000 dollar house. Yeah. So using rough numbers, of course, your situation may change a little bit, but just running some generic numbers here, we take our average sales price of 150,000 um, conventional loan. We're doing five percent down. Altogether, what's that going to result in monthly to you? Because we are talking about cost of living that's gonna result about $1,100 a month in a payment and cash to close, you're looking at about 14,000. So that's awesome, the numbers are great there, but what that buys you in Lubbock at 150, I think a lot of people will be really impressed with. Yeah, it's crazy. The quality of house you can get here, I'm originally from Dallas and that you can get the same quality house in Lubbock that's $300,000 in Dallas and Lubbock for 150,000. It's, it's pretty bonkers. Yeah. So, 
First of all, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to us. We put a lot of work and effort into these, and uh, it's just we're you know we're trying to build this channel. If you can't tell, we've got about five subscribers. So if you'd like to be the six, um, that would be fantastic. We're really trying to build this thing and get it flowing. So definitely consider it. Um, and if you haven't already, like and comment too. That would be great. Smash that like button too. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> okay, I think that's good.